Is there some evolutionary reason why we feed dogs kibble? Can we just feed the dang dog our leftovers already? Let's science this thing. Hey there, pet people. This is D-News, and I'm Trace. Dogs are probably the oldest domesticated animal, with mitochondrial DNA evidence suggesting that they split from wolves 100,000 years ago. At the time, humans didn't have a lot of extra food lying around, and would usually kill competing carnivores like wolves. Smaller, less aggressive wolves would likely scavenge nearer to human encampments, eating from trash piles and snatching leftovers. Over generations, humans purposefully fed the cuter, friendlier wolves, and we set ourselves on a path of domestication to create the dog. But if dogs evolved alongside humans, as evidence suggests, then they were eating the same things that we were eating. But today, Americans often avoid giving dogs people food. So what changed? In short, nothing. As dogs and humans grew together, we shared food, but as human society advanced and pet ownership grew, we couldn't simply feed them the table scraps from our cave anymore. Marcus Terentius Varro wrote a farming manual, which included advice for feeding working farm dogs. They ate barley bread soaked in milk and bones from dead sheep. During the Middle Ages, common families who needed work dogs fed them whatever was left over, so they were still following that ancient table scrap system. But by the 19th century, Empress Su Tsai of China fed her dogs shark fins, quail breasts, and antelope milk. And the royalty of Europe was feeding their pups roast duck, cakes, and candies. The rich got kind of cray when it came to their puppy chow. During the Industrial Age, dog food started to show up in the West as the middle class prospered. As they cost both money and time, pets were considered a luxury item, and people wanted to show off their climbing of the socioeconomic ladder by purchasing a prime pooch. Entrepreneurs learned that these nouveau canonophiles needed help to feed their new friends. And in the 1850s, James Spratt of Cincinnati invented dog biscuits from wheat, beetroot, and vegetables bound with beef blood. Yum. The dry food was a hit, and by the 1920s, canned wet food was also in production. It was mainly horse meat, and by 1941, it was 90% of the market. Then due to rationing during World War II, dry food became hugely popular again. At the same time, people around the world were still feeding their dogs what they had evolved to eat alongside us, table scraps and leftover people food. In the 1960s, to protect and grow their giant industry though, the Pet Food Institute, a lobbying group for pet food, campaigned the American people by funding scientific studies and running radio and TV ads touting the dangers of table scraps. Thus, we begin to shy away from feeding dogs the same things that we ourselves were eating. However, dogs can eat people food if it's healthy. They can literally digest it. They probably shouldn't eat fast food or a mass of cheese, a little bit is okay, or candy. But on the other hand, if you're eating roasted chicken, green beans, and potatoes, table scraps might not be so bad. Dogs can safely eat flax, green beans, eggs, pumpkins, peanut butter, carrots, apples, slices, and sweet potatoes, but they cannot eat chocolate, coffee, yeast, alcohol. They can eat grains, but they're better off with meats, and it's not entirely off from where the pet food industry is going. These days, you can buy luxury dog food, akin to those Victorian princes and empresses. Duck, squash, salmon, turkey, and berries. It's literally just people food in dog packaging. Or if you'd rather save some coin, you can stick to the bagged dry food. A professor of veterinary nutrition at Ohio State University says his students have studied diet histories of thousands of animals and haven't found any evidence that one dog food is better than any other. So what do you feed your pet? Tell us in the comments and be sure you click subscribe to get more science news every day of the week. Hey, and if you like this shirt that I've got on right here, you can check out dnews slash science bro and you can buy this and a bunch of different others. You got a shirt idea? Why don't you let us know? We're on Facebook, Twitter, Google+.